This is tutorial 20 in the series of creating a plane in Plane Maker and Blender. For Blender, this would be part 6. In the last tutorial, I showed you how to make this 3D cockpit, but I forgot to mention something very important. If you went through and tried to follow the steps that I did, you'll, you'll probably have found that you didn't end up with this result because there's some settings you have to do in Plane Maker before you will get this result, and I want to show those to you next. Notice here that what we have is a cube that's skinned from the inside with walls that don't exist on the outside. It's very unrealistic to have a, an object like this, but uh, it was necessary to do this in order so that you see the texture properly from the inside of the cube. And you also see the shadow of the plane, but you don't see the plane. What's going on here? Well, in order to figure out what's going on here, we have to go back to Plane Maker. And uh, I always like to uh, say open aircraft while I'm switching to Plane Maker because that uses less graphic resources. And since I only have a laptop, you can probably already hear the uh, fan spinning up like crazy. Keeping X Plane in menu mode just saves me a little bit of graphic power. So back to Plane Maker, and I'm going to show you what I had to do in order to get that cube to even show up. I, I go to the viewpoint menu under the view tab, and then there's a whole bunch of radio buttons down here that you can press that depict aircraft and panel visibility. Now, I personally had a hard time understanding and learning all of these things and what they mean. There's endless combinations you can do, but I just want to give you a head start and try to help you figure out how all of this works. So basically, these are the views that you can activate in X-Plane, and the check marks will determine whether the cockpit object is visible in these views, or whether the inside of the aircraft structure is visible in these views, or whether the outside aircraft is visible in these views. So remember I showed you the 3D cockpit view in X-Plane and I was mentioning that we couldn't see the body? Well, that's because the outside aircraft structure in 3D cockpit view is not enabled. So if I enable this now, and then I save the plane, and then I load the plane up again here in X-Plane, what we should see is the outside of the plane when we go to Control o for cockpit view, we should be able to see the outside of the plane. And lo and behold, we're able to do that. Now notice something here about the way Plane Maker makes an object, and Blender does the same thing. Here I see the outside wall of the plane, which contains the library. There's a joke that my brother and I always made. It went like this. My grandma made a pancake that was so thin that it only had one side. She would flip it and it would vanish in mid-air. I mean, we just passed that off as a silly joke when we were kids, but in 3D graphics, that is a reality. You have faces that only have one side. Take note how the fuselage just vanishes when you look at it from the inside. So understanding that will also help you understand the necessity to either do uh, two-sided parts or to create an inside and an outside part for your uh, cockpit and those kinds of things. And that requires very careful modeling and it requires careful thought to be given to your plane. So having tapped into this little feature in Plane Maker, I wonder what the other things do, the other check boxes. So since we're going to reload this plane anyways, this is why I go open aircraft to save graphic resources and also because I know that in order for the changes I make in Plane Maker to apply in X-Plane, I have to reload the plane in X-Plane. Let's go back to Plane Maker and then make a couple more changes and see what they do. The show inside aircraft structure in 3D cockpit view. Well, let's see what this does. What I just showed you in X-Plane is that the inside structure vanishes when you're inside the plane. So let's see what it does here. Let's go save. And then we load up the plane again. And now when we enable 3D cockpit view, what that did is it made the plane two-sided, double-sided walls. That is very helpful for me to know. But if you compare the 3D cockpit view, what we just saw here, with the 2D cockpit view, you'll notice that I can pan all the way around the plane in the 2D cockpit view, and I don't have those uh, features that we just set for the 3D cockpit view. So obviously, the 2D cockpit view is treated differently and should have its own parameters and its own settings in Plane Maker. So I would expect to find that there, and let's see if we can find it. So for example here, show cockpit object in 2D forward panel view. I know that if I'm going to check this box, I'm going to see the cube or part of it from the inside. And I'm going to check these two boxes as well, just to be sure that we're, we've got identical settings now for the 2D and 3D cockpit views. So let's save that, go back to X-Plane, load up the ERJ again, and now we see parts of the cube here. I know it's the cube because 
the zoom level is much higher than it was for the 2D cockpit. And now if we pan around with the Q and E keys in X-Plane, we'll see the inside geometry of the plane only in forward view. Now this is something that I need to explore a little further because if I go to side views, I'm not seeing any aircraft geometry. So what's going on there? I'm only seeing the aircraft geometry in forward view. So let's go back to Plane Maker and you'll get used to this process, trust me. And we go back to this view thing and then we see there's these check boxes here for 2D side panel views and I wonder if enabling these two check boxes will allow me to see the entire geometry of the plane while I'm panning around in 2D cockpit view. So let's save this and open it up here again and let's pan around using the 2D cockpit view uh, using E and Q. And sure enough that put myself right inside the plane and I can see the entire geometry of the plane now. Okay, well these things are very useful to customize your plane the way you want it. And also I noticed there was a row of check marks that determine what happens or what part of the plane we see when we're looking at it from an exterior view, such as spot view, like the one I'm, I'm using right now. Notice I don't see the cube in spot view. Well, that has to do with those check marks as well. So if we go back to Plane Maker and we look at it here, external views. Okay, we could show the cockpit object in external views. So let's check the, these boxes. And this one can be checked to view the inside of the plane's geometry in external views, which is actually pretty hard to attain. You can't just fly into the plane with a camera. But we could check that off just to make it seem more, I guess, solid or whatever. And this one here, I don't know why it's not checked and we still saw the plane in exterior view. I have the feeling this check mark doesn't really make a huge difference. And again, just to draw your attention to the pop-up windows that come up when you hover your mouse over any given function in Plane Maker, which really helps you make sense of what these buttons do. So let's see what this did to the plane just now. Save it and go back to X plane. And now we're in the internal view. Let's see what happens if we switch to, to the external view. Okay, now we see the actual cockpit cube in the external view. And that is something we normally shouldn't be uh, doing. Unless, of course, we have a cockpit that we want to display in external view. But there's other tricks around that that I want to show you. Let's see if we can fly into the plane and see the interior geometry. One thing we could try to do is release the brakes and have the camera set in such a position that the plane will fly right into the camera. And then we can see if the external view gives you a glimpse into the inside structure of the plane. So let's try that. Flying right into the camera. Up oh, and sure enough, right there you go. You saw the inside of the plane nicely drawn out. So there you go. That Those uh, radio buttons in Plane Maker will really help you configure your plane the way you need it to be. There's also the, the column that allows you to set the panel visibility during no panel views in, in Plane Maker. It's recommended to keep these unchecked because this is what will happen. Let's save it and I'll show you. Basically, the no panel view is hitting the semicolon, and checking those check boxes pretty much made that view redundant. So that would be why it's recommended not to check those boxes, but I'm sure there are circumstances that would call for having these boxes checked. Okay, this video tutorial pretty much went to waste on these check boxes. I wanted to get more into building out this 3D cockpit, but I don't think I'll have time. It's okay, this is going to be a shorter tutorial, and it's crucial to understand what I just explained to you, how to uh, enable the visibility uh, of the plane in X-Plane for the different components. So I'll start getting into the more detailed modeling of the cockpit in the next tutorial, and I hope you stick around, and please sign up for my YouTube channel, and please rate my videos. Thank you.